Tom Lokes here with the Wisconsin Rapids Community Media Senior Informational Segment. Uh, today I have Karen Bradbury again in from the Park Place and I want to talk about what do these clients do every day over there. So you might want to know there's a lot of fun activities. She's going to share those with us. Yes, when clients come in in the morning, they're greeted by the staff. Um, if they are confused, they can, um, a staff member that knows them and they recognize will come up and spend time with them right away so that they are comfortable right away. We come in, uh, we have uh, coffee, we do serve only decaf, um, but we also talk about what's going on, uh, probably about the weather. We will talk about the news if it's something that they might remember um, happening recently. Uh, so there is a first initial social time that we um, sit and talk and get everyone uh, visiting. Then we start into doing different um, games. Um, some of them are word games, some of them are number games. We try to do one of each every day because it, it uh, stimulates different sides of the brain. Um, it also, we find that they do get tired um, when they're doing a lot of activities like that. And that is good for them to be that active. We do the activities, sometimes we do a craft, uh, something that's seasonal, um, something that may have meaning. Sometimes if our garden area is able to be used, uh, we will do some planting. Uh, we can even do some painting outside if people are up for that. Then we have uh, lunch. Usually in the morning they will have coffee or water available all morning long. At lunch they get the Meals on Wheels meal. It is served on trays and everyone kind of sits in a circle and um, all eat together and visit during that time too. The nurse is able to give medications if that is necessary. We also are able to do insulin testing and give insulin if that's needed also. Uh, after lunch we have a rest period. Um, we try, we have some re a room with recliners and that is so people can put their feet up. Um, a lot of people may have swelling definitely want to put their feet up for a while after lunch and relax and let the food digest before we get started again. In the afternoon we start with activities um, right away. We do um, the same, uh, the word games, number games, um, reminiscing. Um, we also will do pictures, um, paint pictures. Then later on we do table games and that also involves numbers too. And one of the favorites later in the day, they can choose what they want to do. Uh, and they usually choose shaking dice for uh, a game called Risk It. And that is a number game. That is helping them with their numbers. Even if they can't keep their own score, they're still getting um, exposed to the numbers and watching. There is a lot of teasing. There's a lot of laughter. Once you get to know people, um, they uh, will laugh with the staff and um, pick on the staff, which is just fine. <laughs> um, they also have uh, a lot, the staff is very aware of keeping everyone's dignity. If someone drops something and they're feeling bad about it, the staff will say, oh, I should have never set that so close to the edge. They'll find their part in it so that the person doesn't have to feel bad. And if they're confused, oh, I get mixed up all the time too. Let's see if we can figure this out. They're very aware of their dignity and uh, keeping them from feeling embarrassed so that they can have a very pleasant day and not worry about things as they're at Park Place. We got a lot of stuff for them to stay busy. What a great opportunity for people to come. And it also helps the family member to get out and do their errands. They can drop yes. uh, their loved one off, taken care of well get yes. a lot of attention and one-on-one. -on -one. It seems to me like there's some one-on-one -on -one as well and fan group settings there. We do do that. We have a four to one ratio. We have um, one staff takes care of four clients and most places are one to six or one to, up to one to eight. But um, because of help from the United Way and are taking care of dementia clients, uh, we are able to do that kind of staffing so that we can give them a lot more attention. If they don't like the activity, if they don't seem to be enjoying themselves, they can take them over and do something totally different. We have a piano, we have things that people have donated, books and musical instruments um, that we can do. We have a boom box that we play music a lot. That really connects with some people um, when they hear their favorite kinds of music. So, so we can take them for a walk even out into the mall. 
uh, because we have that uh, place that we can go and still inside. Um, also, the Lowell Center will invite us to senior activities, which is just great. Um, we definitely go to the senior sing-along um, once a month, and they make it so much fun for all of us, actually. <laughs> Well, it sounds like a great central spot for you guys right here. It's amongst all of us here. You can go to the mall. You're indoors. You have a garden. A lot of opportunities here. So I guess you know you, you raise some money by charging a little bit uh, by the hour. But also uh, United Way as a, a partner you guys work with, they they help yes. you guys as well yes. uh, support this program. Is that correct? Yes. That's all right. right. Well, thanks, Karen, for all that information. Really appreciate that. If they have questions, all they have to do is stop over yes. or give you a call what's the number here over there 715-422-2795 and I'm happy to talk about um, any problems that you're having um, even if you don't you wind up using Park Place Alrighty. Well, anything, everything over there is confidential, so just go ahead and see Karen, and she'll get help you anytime. Again, Monday through Friday, uh, they're available, so see what they have to offer. Thanks for joining us here on the Senior Informational segment.